Hello and welcome to this week's virtual drop-in and a slightly different room in my flat you've not been in before. Ooh. Um, this week's drop-in is run by Annie Harris who is a fantastic improviser from Brighton and this week it's all about musical improv. Um, so I'm going to link to some of the resources that Annie mentions in the video in either the comments or the description of this video so you can play with them on your own time. Um, so as always like, feel free to draw your curtains, create some room for yourself if you need to, um, we have some warm-up videos on our YouTube channel if you want to warm yourself up a bit more physically and vocally, although um, Annie does do a whole like musical vocal warm-up. Um, if you're interested in teaching one of these sessions, um, we know that the lockdown has been extended, so we're looking for more teachers. Um, this is like a paid teaching experience thing, so if you want to lead one of these sessions, please email me at contact at .uk and we will give you money to teach in Brock. Woo. Also, don't forget that if you're in a position to, you can support the virtual drop-ins by donating at the link that will also be in the description around somewhere. Um, that's it from me. I'll hand over to Annie now, and I hope you enjoy the drop-in. Hello, welcome to um, Musical Improv. Um, my name's Annie. Um, it's a real pleasure to be uh, doing this workshop for you, so I'm really looking forward to getting into it. Um, I'm not, I haven't done musical improv um, in a pre-recorded capacity before, so it's going to be a learning experience for me as much as it is for you, but hopefully uh, in the next 15-20 minutes, however long this ends up being, and you'll go away with some more musical improv tools under your belt. So uh, we're just going to start with a vocal warm-up, and we're just going to sing some really basic scales. Okay. So we're going to sing our scales to one word, so for example, can I have a word from the audience please? T. T. T, 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 T. Do. Do. Do, 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 do. Next word, please. Cup. Cup. Cup, 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 cup. One more. Fridge. Fridge. Fridge, 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 fridge. Really nice. There we go. Looking forward to starting to work. Um, now we're going to go one word at a time, we're, we're not going to do any word association obviously because this is pre-recorded so I'm going to give you a word and then you're going to sing a word and I'll just play for you. So uh, our first word to start off with is cat, let's go. Cat, 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 cat. Your turn to pick a word, obviously I don't know what it is but you carry on. Great word, I love it. I love it. exercise again perhaps you could rewind the video and get someone to bounce off you maybe they could feed you a word instead of you coming up with one by yourself it's always really great practice in musical improv as well particularly when we're starting off to get in the habit of really supporting your scene partner I know we do this a lot in improv and you've probably heard this already but in musical it's even more important to like just be there and be present for your partner because if you're standing on the back line just like oh my god then not only does it make your partner feel really isolated, but also it doesn't really look like a musical because that doesn't really tend to happen in musical theatre. Everyone's there, everyone's like, yeah, like dancing or whatever. So get in the practice of really supporting your scene partner or whoever it is that you're working with. So I've got a bit of a confession to make. I do play the piano, but not quite as well as some of my colleagues in musical improv. So uh, what I've done is downloaded a few royalty free piano tracks so that we can use them in this video so that we can do an exercise called a gibberish solo. Gibberish solo is pretty much what it says on the tin. We're going to sing a solo, except it's going to be completely in gibberish. So I will take the bullet and do one first. Um, so here's the track that I've got. Uh, here we go. I've no idea what it sounds like. I just downloaded it from a royalty free music website last night. Um, okay. Thank you. 
rich solo, so now it's your turn, okay? As you can see, it doesn't have to be, it's really low pressure. Um, all you have to do is just make up gibberish in tune, which sometimes is quite a lot harder than um, it sounds. Um, but these cool exercises are great for starting to tune your ear um, and figuring out pitches and keys and that sort of thing. So uh, I'm gonna sit here and watch while you make up an amazing gibberish solo. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it back a little bit just so you don't get the same music that I did. Let's go from here. Oh, cute. Okay, I'm ready to support you. Off you go. gibberish solo because there's no pressure to come up with rhymes or anything funny um, it's just whatever comes out of your mouth as I'm sure you saw from my example in that given moment so we're gonna play a game called eight things um, this is a really great game for just saying what's in your mind and not really worrying too much about um, whether it's clever or funny but it also starts to get us thinking in patterns and thinking in um, sort of ahead in the future basically. Um, I've sort of devised my own tune for it. I'm sure you might have played it before in um, non-musical improv. Uh, it's just basically someone gives you a category and you name eight things in that category. Uh, but in musical improv we do it to music because why not? So uh, the tune is... So um, Sam, I want you to give me... My cameraman. Um, I want you to give me a category of uh, things that I could list eight things of. Mm, eight things you find in the car. Eight things you find in the car, okay. So when I say name a thing, you're going to say one thing, okay? Yeah. Okay. Steering wheel. One thing. <laughs> Keys. Two things. The chair. Three things. The window. <laughs> Four things. The roof. <laughs> Sam is uh, a brilliant improviser, but not a musical improviser, bless his heart. Um, so now I'm gonna do, you're gonna have a go. It's gonna be eight things that you'll find in a kitchen. I assume you're not talking to me. No, you are gonna have a go, the cameraman, oh. Sam. Oh. Yay, give it up for Sam, everybody. <laughs> so you're gonna do eight things that you see outside at the moment. So like not, not so people. In, in lockdown mode. <laughs> you ready? myself on the monitor for the majority of that so I'm very sorry um, so now it's your turn okay um, I'm gonna sing the one things part and you're gonna come back with something within that category so you are going to sing and that's you now at home not Sam behind the camera you are going to sing eight things that you're gonna find in a treasure chest okay now it doesn't have to be pirate treasure it doesn't have to be like you know it, it can be any kind of treasure you want what's treasure to you so off we go I know it's really 
hard, but you, when you're singing, um, you've got to think quickly. So it's good to get your brain in practice of starting to think like in patterns and in categories. Um, I do a lot of um, freestyle rap as well. I know, <laughs> looking at me, you could probably be like, hmm, freestyle rapper. Yeah, definitely. Um, but I do a lot of freestyle rap. And one of the techniques that I find really useful in that is something called lily padding. So once you've got an idea of like a category or like a genre or like something that you're talking about, then you start to think of like keywords to do with that um, that category basically or that um genre what, what am i looking for yeah category or like that topic there we go that's the word i'm looking for so while you're getting a bit of time to prepare start thinking of like keywords around that topic so uh sam give me like um a location that's like a um a non-geographical location restaurant a restaurant cool so um, we get the audience suggestion of a restaurant i just start to think of things like table chair waiter plate cutlery meal menu all these kind of like keywords buzzing around my head so then when you when you get to your turn you can come up with this like amazing rhyme and people are like oh they love they love keywords audience members go absolutely nuts like if you manage to be in a restaurant and put the word menu into a song they'll think you're an absolute genius um so we're going to move on to our next exercise this is called sing your day it's one of my favorite exercises ever we do it all the time um it's like a lovely warm-up exercise but also just gets you used to kind of like free flow and sort of like freestyling a little bit um and basically what you do is you just sing about your day now normally we're singing this in a circle um and somebody will sing a bit about their day and then one person will make up a chorus about that person's day and everyone sings it but obviously seeing as we're at home and this is pre-recorded might be a bit tricky so all you're going to do is just sing your day i'm going to do an example first and then it's going to be your turn so i'm going to get my track up <laughs> my day um, I actually didn't plan the the rhymes that came up I think I I said it brought me tea in bed and I started to think ahead um, or um, I went around the town because we're in lockdown these little rhymes will come up if you start to get like familiar with um, things that rhyme I know a really good freestyle rapper called MC Hammersmith or Will Namo some of you guys might know him and he basically has a list in his phone of all the words whenever he hears a word that rhymes like really well he writes it down in his phone so he keeps like basically a rhyme, his own rhyming dictionary basically but there's also rhyming dictionaries exist and they're all over on uh, the internet as well so you can definitely access those so if a rhyme comes up great that's really lovely but also if it doesn't it doesn't matter like and also I had a point in that where uh, my pitching wasn't quite right obviously I'm singing to a pre-recorded track if there was a pianist they'd probably follow me um, but also if I'm singing to a pre-recorded track uh, it can be quite tricky so try not to beat yourself up about these sorts of things particularly in the situation that we're in just kind of let whatever's on your mind come out if it rhymes if it's in tune great if not doesn't matter it's improv it's supposed to be fun so uh, it's your turn now i'm gonna skip the track back a little bit so you get something new cool so get ready to sing about your day i'll be here to support you off you go Amazing, nailed it, well done. I'll let you stop there, that's fantastic. 
I love that exercise so much because you don't even have to think of anything new. You've already gone about your day. So you don't really have to be thinking of anything on the spot. You just have to tell us the truth. A lot of people say, you know, oh, I can't improvise or I can't uh, make up a song. And it's like, well, we're improvising all the time. We're always having conversations with other people, taking in stimulus from our surroundings and responding to them in a really organic way. And that's improvising. So um, all we're doing in musical improv is just putting that same level of truth and experience into music. Um, which can terrify a lot of people, but hopefully this is helping. So we're going to finish off with one of my favourite exercises ever. It's called Hush Little Baby. Um, I'm sure you already know the lullaby. Hush little baby, don't say a word. Mom's gonna buy you a rocking bird. And if that rocking bird don't sing, Papa's gonna buy you a diamond ring. So that's the sort of the basis for our uh, exercise that we're going to be doing. Um, but I'm going to welcome back uh, the cameraman Sam to the front of the camera. Woo! He's already played this before, so I don't know why he's giving me the stink eye right now. So, um, Hush Little Baby is a rhyming game and a bit of a partner game. So, um, I'm not quite sure how we're going to make this work on uh, pre recorded medium at the moment, but hopefully we'll figure it out along the way. So, um, we're going to do an example of Hush Little Baby for you. Oh, 
noticed that I wasn't playing the piano for that. That's partially so I can concentrate on what I'm doing, but also because I'm not as good as some of my colleagues. So I actually downloaded that backing track from openyourmouthandsing.com, which is run by Heather and Joe of the Maydays. Um, it's got loads of resources on um, musical improv, games, examples, videos, that sort of thing. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. Would highly recommend you check it out. Um, that's it from me. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in for this workshop. I hope it makes sense. Obviously, like teaching uh, musical improv in a pre-recorded capacity is quite difficult, but I hope you got something out of it. You're more than welcome to contact me if you have any questions at all. Um, you can get my contact information from Emily if you want to. I am a singing teacher as well as an improviser, so if you're ever looking for uh, singing lessons that are specifically catered to improv or just vocal health and sort of technique in general, um, I am here. So please do give Emily a shout if you need anything like that and she can put you in touch with me. But for now, thank you very much. It's been really nice to spend this time with you and I hope that you're staying safe. I hope all of your family are really well and um, look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye.